Welcome to this EC Goodwin virtual information session. My name is Erica Torres, and I'm the Director of Counseling and Admissions at Goodwin Tech in New Britain. I will be guiding you through this PowerPoint presentation today, and I hope you'll find it helpful as you consider your high school options for next year. What makes us different? We provide students with an academic and technical education. It's that technical education that allows our students to enter into a skilled career directly from high school. EC Goodwin is a regional high school, meaning our students come from several towns. Those towns include Berlin, Bristol, Farmington, Hartford, Newington, New Britain, Plainville, Southington, and West Hartford. We're a relatively small high school with about 675 students. Right now, we have about 14 towns that our students come from. Uh, we do have some additional students that come to us from East Hartford, Weathersfield, and Rocky Hill this year. There's no cost to attend. We're not a private school. Um, there are some costs associated to coming to a technical high school, and that would include uniforms. We do have an academic and a trade uniform. And we also do have some tools that are required for the various trades, but you would have plenty of time to plan for and purchase those tools. Transportation is provided by the town that you live in, as long as you live in one of the towns that I listed in the earlier slide. If students live outside of one of those towns, they can still attend EC Goodwin, but parents would be responsible for transportation. Many times people think that if you choose to go to a technical high school, that means you aren't interested or that you can't go to college. That's really not the case and hasn't been for a long time. About 40 to 50% of our students choose to go on to a college after high school every year. It really just depends on how hard you work and how good your grades are, just like any other high school. These are some of the colleges and universities our students typically apply to and are attending year to year. However, there are many more beyond this list. We're very serious, just as serious about our academic program as we are about our trade programs. Um, we have a college prep curriculum, so students who come to our school will be challenged in their classes, um, but it's manageable and there are lots of opportunities for students to get help when they need it. We offer honors programming. Um, we have uh, lots of opportunities for students to earn college credits through several different programs, um, which you'll learn more about if you come to our school. And we have added some advanced placement courses this year as well. We have a mastery-based math program. So that means that students uh, will, not, will be, you'll be tested when you come to our school to see where your math skills place you at the beginning. Um, but you'll start, so if you start out in algebra, you won't move on to Algebra 2 or Geometry until you've mastered the skills in Algebra 1. So if you come to us and you've mastered Algebra 1 and you're ready right away in your freshman year to move on to Algebra 2, our program enables us to do that. You don't have to wait until the following year to get enrolled in that class. And alternately, if you need a little more time in that class, you'll have it. And I think what most people are a little bit curious about uh, when they're thinking about a technical high school is how do we balance the trade side and the academic side of our program? So the way that works is students work in cycles. So if you're a freshman and you're starting out in academics, you'll be in academics for about two weeks, and then we will flip the cycles and you'll be on the trade side of the cycle and you'll be in trade for two weeks. When you're in academics, you're not doing trade. And when you're in trade, the only academic courses you might have um, on a day-to-day -day basis would be every day you go to a math pullout. So that's one period a day you'd go to math and two or three days a week, you might go to a reading class. So that would just be for your freshman and sophomore year. It changes a little bit in junior and senior year. Um, but for the most part, when you're in trade, you're focusing on trade and academics, you're focusing on academics. So our special focus is our trades, and that's what I want to spend a little bit of time talking to you about today. At EC Goodwin, we have 11 trade technologies. These include electrical, HVAC, automotive, culinary arts, hairdressing and barbering, carpentry, information systems technology, manufacturing, plumbing, mechanical design, engineering technology, and mechatronics. 
We're going to go through each of these for a very brief overview. But if you want more detailed information, I encourage you to check out our website or call the school and you can be connected with a shop teacher for more information. Automotive technology. This trade involves the inner workings of the car. That includes engine repair, how to replace brakes, and simple things like changing a tire. You'll also learn about the electronic components that are involved in newer cars. And students who complete this trade over the four years will earn 1,400 hours of time in the trade, and that includes theory or the book work and the practical hands-on learning. Carpentry. Students in carpentry will learn about not only the basics of carpentry, so framing if you're doing an addition. So that means, you know, putting up the framework for the walls and the floor, but also uh, things like in the interior walls have to have sheetrock and how you do all the taping that goes along with that. Um, and then some students are interested in the more sort of fine design pieces of carpentry. So that would be things like millwork, trim, cabinetry, all those kinds of things that um, are a different piece of carpentry, but are definitely included in the skills that you can learn. Mechanical design and engineering technology, or MDET, is really about drafting technology. So that has to do with creating designs on the computer. These are three-dimensional designs, so you have to be able to see in that way, which Believe it or not, not everybody can do, but if you are able to and you're into design on the computer, maybe thinking about a career in architecture, the MDET shop may be for you. Most of our students in this trade will choose to go on to college after high school. Culinary arts is what we're pretty well known for. We do have a fully operational restaurant uh, in most years. This year it's a little different. It's open some days. It's not open to the public the way it usually is. But students are learning um, how to run a restaurant on a day-to-day -day basis, which includes lots of different components like uh, running a cash register, keeping um, accounts, how do you make place a big order if you're buying all your supplies for the week, um, what's a serving size, um, how do I work in the bakery versus you know working in the main kitchen, all these kinds of things that are involved in culinary arts. Electrical is one of the most popular trades at UC Goodwin. Students learn the basics of low voltage electrical systems and basic residential wiring. Students are learning how to safely install wiring and provide repairs to customers. At the end of their time at UC Goodwin, students in electrical will be required to go on and work for a licensed electrician to complete additional hours in the field so that they themselves can become a licensed electrician. Or students can go on to college and perhaps pursue a degree in electrical engineering. Mechatronics technology, this is a newer trade for us, uh, but it's been around for a few years now. And it's a combination of several trades. So it's a hybrid trade, meaning that it has some electricity, electronics, mechanical systems, this is a gadgety shop. So students who are into their gadgets, taking things apart and putting them back together, troubleshooting, figuring out what's wrong and how to fix it. This is a trade you might be interested in. So they do a lot of um, repair of items. So things like automated machinery, um, copiers, um, and then you know things like um, at McDonald's where they have the automated uh, drink drop system where the cups drop and then the ice drops and then it auto fills the right amounts in the cups, things like that. Kids are learning all about those types of machinery and how to fix them. Hairdressing and barbering. This is always one of our most competitive trades for students to get into. Students who are participating in this shop learn about not only cutting hair, but skin care, completing facials, doing nails, all of those things that are involved in a complete hairdressing, barbering, and cosmetology program. At the end of your four years in this trade, you have the opportunity to take the state licensing exam. And if you pass that exam, you will be a licensed hairdresser and barber in the state of Connecticut. That means that you can graduate from high school and go out and work in a hair salon or barber shop immediately. 
this is a really great program for students who want to be a hairdresser or barber and don't want to spend the money that it costs to go to a, into a program after high school. Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, or HVAC. So this trade prepares students to become HVAC technicians. And you know, if I haven't mentioned this earlier, a lot of these trades are trades where students go out into the world of work right after high school and can make a very good living. So they make a lot of money, and this is a field that's in demand and students are getting jobs and having very good careers without going to college and being able to do it right after high school. So students in this trade will learn the basics of heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. They learn how to repair units, like you see the young men working on in the picture on the left. Um, those are usually located in the back of a house or the side of a house. Those units that cool and heat the house have to be repaired. If it's a new installation, say in a new home, the technician will have to come out and put the ductwork that has all the air flowing through. They'll have to install that. So you're learning about all those things in HVAC. Information systems technology. So for those of you who are really into computers, you're thinking about a career in coding, um, computer design, all those kinds of things. You're, you know, you're thinking about you want to do web design, those kinds of careers. This is something you might want to consider. Students are starting out learning things that are more basic like Microsoft Office, Excel, Access and PowerPoint, and students uh, that are more advanced will go on to do more advanced types of coding. Precision machine technology or manufacturing. This trade involves students working on machines such as milling machines, lathes, and other metal processing machines. Um, and then later on in their manufacturing career, they will learn how to use the CNC machines. Students in this shop are creating metal parts or objects with these machines. It's hard to explain this one. It's one of those shops that you really need to see in action to have a better understanding of what students are actually learning. But there are terrific opportunities in manufacturing and our students are placed very often in work-based learning in their junior and senior years for this shop, probably at a higher rate than any other shop in our school. Plumbing technology. Plumbing has to do with not only the water that comes in and out of your house, but certain types of heating systems that are in homes and businesses. Plumbers would also be involved in installing piping or moving piping. Say you have a bathroom and you wanted to move the sink to a new location and there wasn't piping there, you'd have to have a plumber come in and install the new pipes so that there would be water at that new sink location. Students in plumbing also learn about green technology as do many of our other trades. But in particular, I'm highlighting here that students are learning about solar panels and how to install those. So how does all this work? As a freshman, we don't expect you to come in knowing exactly what you want to do. We give you the opportunity to go through every single one of our 11 trades for two days. Then we move on to phase two, where you select your three favorite technologies, and you'll spend four days in each of those. That experience in phase two will help guide you in making your final shop placement choice. So students in phase three, which happens at the beginning of December, will select their permanent technology. And that is where students will remain over the course of their four years on the shop side of the schedule. One of the things that I always like to bring to the attention of students thinking about EC Goodwin is that we have a work-based learning program. Work-based learning allows our students who are in their junior and senior years to go out and be placed in a job site related to their trade technology, and they can actually earn money while on school time. So the way this works is students, when they're in trade, instead of coming to school for trade two or three days a week, they would report specifically to their job site, and they would work there during the day and gain not only real-world experience, but that money that they earn is theirs to keep and they're getting credit for school time. So it's a really wonderful opportunity for our students and for our local employers. So otherwise, we are a regular high school with activities, clubs, organizations, and sports. 
These are some of our normal activities that we would offer. Again, this year is a little different because of everything that's going on. We're restricting the number of students that can be together. But hopefully by the time any of you come to us as students next year, we'll be a little bit back to normal. Sports at EC Goodwin. Sports at EC Goodwin include girls and boys soccer, football, girls volleyball, swimming and diving, wrestling, boys and girls basketball, golf, indoor and outdoor track and field, baseball, and softball. The sports that you see that have a star next to them, those indicate sports that while we don't offer them specifically at our school, our athletic director can work with your local high school to see if you'd be able to participate as a team of one representing Goodwin Tech because those are considered individual sports. So how do you get started? Our application is online and will be found at the Regional School Choice website at choiceeducation.org, or you can simply go to our admissions page and click on the link to the application there. It's not live yet, but it will be soon, and students will have plenty of time to fill out an application. This is a snapshot from the Regional School Choice website from last year, since I don't have the updated application live yet for this year, but this is where you get started. When selecting the technical high schools, you will have to rank order your choices from the following three schools. So Goodwin Tech, Prince Tech in Hartford, and Cheney Tech in Manchester. So if you're really only interested in Goodwin Tech, simply put that as your first choice and then put Prince or Cheney as your second and third choices. So what we encourage you to do is when that application opens December 1st, you're going to want to apply by January 22nd in order to meet the priority deadline. Students who apply to Goodwin Tech or any other of the three schools, whichever is your first choice, you'll want to apply early so that you can be notified if you are offered a seat by about February 15th. If you don't receive an offer on that date, you will be placed on the wait list and you still have an opportunity to be selected down the road. This is a random selection. It's not based on how your grades are, how your attendance is. However, we do look at that information down the road and students have lost seat offers in the past because they had significant discipline issues or they weren't eligible to promote to ninth grade. So you just wanna keep that in mind. You wanna be doing your best. I'm sure it's not going to be an issue for most students, but it is something to keep in mind. We also want to let you know that if you have a sibling that attends Goodwin Tech, you're going to want to make sure you put that information on your application because it will improve your chances of receiving an early offer. Normally by now we would have held an in-person open house where we invite eighth graders and their families to come in and check out our many trade offerings, participate in some activities and demonstrations, ask questions, eat some good food, it's a really nice event. But unfortunately, since we're not able to hold that this year, we have created an admissions and virtual open house page on our website. And you can get lots more information there, take a virtual tour, there's contact information on how to get more information. And like I said, the application will be linked there as soon as it's live on December 1st. This wraps up my presentation for today but I hope that I have sparked your interest in finding out more about a technical high school and specifically applying to Goodwin Tech. I wanna thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. And again, if you have any other questions, please visit our website or give us a call at the school. Thank you and have a great day.